Hi, this is Katie. I just woke up. It's Monday morning and I want Tuesday's video to be kind of like a follow me throughout the day, what my typical day is while I'm living in my car. And uh, yeah, so I just woke up. It is like 7.50 or so. And I have a few different jobs and one of them has pretty set hours. And so I start working at eight, uh, eight central time. I'm in central time right now, I'm in Texas. And so this happens to me a lot where I wake up just kind of right before I'm gonna start working. And so on my iPhone, I have where I can hotspot to my computer. And so that means I can get internet on my computer wherever I am. And so if you just go to settings and then there's just an option for personal hotspot and then you just turn it on and you can have a password. I suggest having a password so other people can't just get on as well, like other people near you. And so you just turn that on and then on your computer, where you would normally go on Wi-Fi, it'll say like whatever your iPhone's name is. And so my iPhone's name is Catherine's iPhone. Do you guys know my name is Catherine? My iPhone's name is Catherine's iPhone. And so I just click on that. And then the first time you do it, you have to type in the password. Then after that, it'll remember it. And then you sign in and then I work. And so this job is customer service. So I just answer emails all day and I love it. It's like, it's my favorite job I've ever had. And so I'm going to answer emails for probably an hour or two and then I usually get up because right now I'm still just at the place that I slept last night and I don't want to just be here all day so when this happens which is kind of often where I wake up and I have to work semi immediately and I don't have time to drive somewhere else I will work for about an hour hour and a half until somewhere between like 9 and 10 so it's still kind of early and then I will leave I'll go drive generally to a Target or a TJ Maxx especially at a Target sometimes the Wi-Fi from inside Target I can get from my car so I can use that internet and sometimes I'll go to a library or a Starbucks or something but honestly I just feel very comfortable in my car you know it's kind of like working like if you live in a house or something it's just kind of like working from home it's the same kind of deal for me and so I like working in my car but yeah sometimes I will go to a library or a Starbucks or something like that but I don't know what I'm gonna do today all I know is that I need to start working in like two minutes and then I will just kind of take you guys again throughout my day it's gonna be a little vlog style and so yeah that's it for now. I'm gonna get some work done and then I'll pick up the camera in a little bit. Oh, and just by the way, this is kind of what my car looks like when I wake up. I usually have a t-shirt there, but I <laughs> knocked it over when I was getting something out of the front and I just didn't bother putting it back up. But I have a t-shirt there. My legs are here somewhere. I put a pillow here because I stretch out a lot and that just like makes it a little bit more comfortable. And then I also have a towel up here to block that window. So yeah, this is my my morning setup, it's very comfortable. I know a lot of people like look at my car and see how tiny it is and cannot imagine that I'm comfortable sleeping in it or lying in it, but I really am super comfy. Okay, it is a little bit later. Oh, by the way, yes, I got new glasses. I'm very, very excited about them because those blue ones, I just ended up like hating them. Like I've worn them the past year maybe and they just did not make me feel good. And so I got new ones. And when I don't have eyebrows on, they kind of look like my eyebrows. <laughs> Well, whatever. We'll see. Anyway, so uh, yeah, I've just been working for a little bit, but I want to get situated and go head to a Target or something. And so I just wanted to show you guys like what I do. You know, I guess I should sit up. Oh boy. All right. Okay. Okay. So. So, okay. This is like what my front seat looks like, which looks like a lot of stuff, but it's really not. And so the first thing I do, where can I put you? Like here? Is that a good angle? Sure. Okay, so I take down the t-shirts. And so remember I said one fell before, it still has the pins in it. And so I pin my t-shirts up with these kind of like button, you know? Like I just kind of slide it into the fabric of my car. Some people will hang up towels or t-shirts, whatever. Um, like they'll open their window and they'll put it through there and then close their window. I don't do that, I just do the pins. That's what I do. All right, and so then I make my bed every day, every morning I make my bed. Oh, and I'm sorry that I haven't posted a video in a little while. That is partially because I just haven't been in the mood, I guess, and also partially because the internet, like I'm hoping that this video can go up because I've been having a really rough time finding this hair right now. I've been having a really rough time finding good Wi-Fi and like I said like I hotspot my computer from my phone but even that because the videos that I did record last week to go up last week were kind of long 
And so one of them, actually one of them wasn't even that long. I think it was only like nine minutes, but it just would not upload. And since I have my other jobs, I don't exactly think it's the best use of my time to drive around Austin, which is where I'm right now in Texas. I don't think it's the best use of my time to drive around Austin and try to find Wi-Fi. And so I'm really sorry that there has not been a video, but I am going to make sure this one goes up. I don't even know how, but I will make sure. Dang it. Okay, so then this looks like this. I just have my two pillows there. Wait, yeah, there. And then my t-shirts and my stuffed animals. Of course. Let me like situate these. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so I have a sleeping mat here and it hangs off like two inches or three inches or so here. And so I like to push it over and kind of like bend it here and have it up there. What, my camera just shut off. What the heck? I don't even know what it ended up recording. But anyway, so I move my mattress pad and then I make my bed, my mattress pad, I move it so it's like bent a little bit here. Can you tell? Just so it's not hanging over the edge over here, if that makes sense. That's a good angle, that was just my hand, great. Okay, so put these back and then we grab my suitcase, which I hope I don't knock you guys over in that process. I put that here. And then I go to the front seats, and then I move the rest of the stuff. So, okay, all right, okay. Pull that back, because both of these seats I put forward a little bit while I sleep, so I have a little bit more room back here. Okay, so this is what this looks like right now, and then I just go to the front. I just climb over. Great angle, Katie, good job, okay. Everything's fantastic. And then, I move the rest of it. So I just have a lot of clothes that I need to put in my suitcase. They're almost all clean, and so I need to just put them away. But for right this second, since I kind of have to rush because I want to get back to work, I'm just going to put them like on top, back over there. Like on top of my suitcase, I mean. Okay, and then I move, this is like my toiletry bag. And then, man, I need to clean this today. Actually, I will probably clean this today. I'll just hold it. Since it's such a small space in here, it gets messy incredibly quickly, like incredibly quickly. And so I have to tidy it up every few days, which I'm totally fine with, but I just haven't done it in a few days. And so I'm going to do that today. And um, yeah, but again, right now I'm going to, now that I just took like a five minute break, I'm gonna work. What is, what is this? Why does my face look so red? Anyway, I'm going to answer some more emails for work and then I'm going to go drive to the nearest Target and then I'm gonna do more work and organize my car and uh, yeah, cool. And I know that you're gonna ask how I get changed in the car and so I'm not going to show you that but I will tell you how I do it. Um, sometimes I wake up early enough to go to the gym to shower even if I don't have time to work out or don't want to work out. Sometimes I will just go to the gym in my pajamas and then go take a shower and change and do everything at the gym. But there are some times where I don't do that, where I don't shower, there's maybe three days a week or so, depending on where I am and depending how close the nearest gym is, there just sometimes, there can be a week where I shower every day and there can be a week where I only shower three or four times. But yeah, so today I probably won't shower, but I will kind of tell you guys what I do on the days that I don't shower. I'll show you guys like what wipes and stuff I use. And then I'll just tell you guys how I change in the car because I feel like it's so much easier than people think it is. You can do it in a very discreet way. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go back to work, okay. Oh wait, one more thing. I don't know if I've talked about this in a video. I know I've talked about it like on Instagram and stuff, but this is probably my favorite purchase of all time in terms of my car. This is, let me show you really quick. It's just this little plastic thing that costs like $15 or something on Amazon. And it just connects to your steering wheel and it makes it into a desk and or a table. It's like you're eating or whatever. It's my favorite purchase of all time. I'll put a link below. It's amazing, I love it so much. Okay, bye. Oh wait, one more thing. Okay, I just wanted to tell you guys how I charge my computer in my car because I know that there's gonna be quite a few of you who are like, wait, how do you work in your car? How do you charge your stuff? So, I have a power inverter. I had a power inverter, like a 300 watt, this like big yellow one. It wasn't that big, but it was like this yellow one that my brother got it for me a few years ago for like Christmas or something. And I use that, essentially you plug it into your cigarette lighter and then you can, like it's a plug on the other side. And so that one, the wire started to fray and so I bought a new one. And this one I like even better only because, well, 
well, it's newer, and I, I guess probably just after the last few years, like they've made them a little bit better. But this one is smaller and it's quieter. The other one I had it on was almost like scary, like it sounded like it, like I don't know, like I only use that one kind of for like emergencies. But this one, it's Duracell, it's 150 watt, and it has one plug and one USB, which is really, really handy. And so I just almost always keep this plugged in anyway because the only thing I ever use my cigarette lighter for that's not like charging my computer is charging my phone. And this one just has both. And so I honestly don't know how bad this is for your battery. I don't know any of that, but I know that it works really, really well. And I have to turn my car on to charge it, but that's okay because I drive so much. So just when my car is on, I'll just kind of always be charging my stuff. And obviously sometimes like if I need to, I can go somewhere else. I'll go to a Starbucks or a library and stuff to charge it but this is just the handiest thing and this was maybe $25 and I love this thing again I don't know if it's bad for your battery if it is please let me know in the comments because I do not know how often you have to use this for it to like mess up your battery but I'll put a link for this as well in the description um I love it so 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 much it's very very handy and so yeah okay anyway I have to work okay bye Hey guys, so it has been a few hours. It is 11.15 almost, and I drove to Target, and I got some like breakfast, which was this. <laughs> um, Lantana white bean hummus. This is my favorite hummus ever, and you can get it at Target. I think it was like 3.69, I think, at this Target at least, um, and I just had it with some Tostitos crispy rounds, and so anyway, I ate some of that, Still doing some work have not gotten dressed yet so that's a thing but i'm probably gonna work for another hour or two and then get dressed so i just wanted to update you guys a little bit now cool okay so work for a little bit more this is just my day i just work and then i take like five minute breaks to do other things or should just like not be on my computer and then i work and i work and whatever and i love it i love it i love it anyway i was working and now i'm like finally ready to like get ready and so the first thing that I will do is kind of park a little bit further away from other people and so right now I'm parked at Target but I'm like near other cars so let's drive just to a different I'm gonna hold you like this it's a good angle of my hand okay we're just gonna kind of drive like oh you know like a little away from other cars I'm gonna be a little discreet here living in your car is about being discreet and so okay away from other people's windows closed because for some reason that makes me feel more discreet even though my windows are not tinted. So, car off. Okay, so, first thing that I do, and again, this is on a day that I'm not taking a shower, and so I wanna get ready and like still feel clean, but I'm not going to take a shower. Let's just get a few of the things situated that I need. Okay, so I just remembered that I cannot find my deodorant wipes but we'll still make do, we will still make do. The ones that I use are the Pacifica underarm wipes. I like those, I've always used them. Um, they're like fine, they're not like the best thing in the world. Like I use them to like wipe under my arms and then I still use deodorant, but it just makes me feel a little bit cleaner. But anyway, I have other things. And so let's just show you like what I will use first. So I've actually never used these before. I just bought these today actually because to take like a shower, just kind of like to wipe your body down if you feel sweaty or gross, you know? I used to use baby wipes but they would kind of leave me feeling a little bit like sticky, like a little bit. And then I was using like wilderness wipes, like literally wipes that were made for adults to shower when they cannot shower. And I liked those, those were fine. They didn't make me feel like the cleanest ever but also you're just using a wipe, like you're not actually showering. So I don't really know how clean I'm expecting to get but I had a pack of them and then just the other day like I went to go use one and they were dried out and so I just did not go repurchase those instead I went to Target and purchased the honest wipes these are baby wipes but they're plant-based whatever like hypoallergenic and all that kind of stuff and I always get like fragrance free hypoallergenic whenever I can um, I don't like putting extra stuff on or in my body if I don't have to so anyway I have those I have these natural care intimate wipes for like body parts that you might not necessarily want to use this, but these, I mean, you can use anywhere. But I also have these, they're a little bit more like, you know, for, you know, sensitive areas. And then for my face, I use the Pacifica Coconut Water Micellar Cleansing Tonic and just some like cotton, these are not even cotton rounds, they're cotton, what do they even call them? Facial cotton, okay, they're squares, they're cotton squares. These are the Shiseido ones, these are my favorite ones of all time. This pack costs like $10, but I personally think it's worth it because most cotton rounds or cotton things like shed 
and especially when you use them on your eyes like the little fibers that get in your eyes or whatever and they irritate and they just like freak me out but these do not shed so i love these i get these from sephora i think i think these are from sephora and then this you can get at ulta or target or whatever um any like my cellar like uh, so this is a my cellar thing it's kind of like a toner but it takes your makeup off so this is what i use at night too to take my makeup off and you just like wipe your face with this and you don't need to rinse it that's the whole point of this you do not need to rinse it and so in the morning if i don't get to wash my face i'll just use this to kind of wash my face you know because you don't have to rinse it again and then i have this is my skincare is in here and so yeah i'll do all that and then i'm gonna get changed okay we're back so i don't really know how i'm gonna do this so i just picked out my clothes for the day which is just like a pair of jeans and a black t-shirt and essentially changing bottoms super easy because no one can see that unless they're like right next to you looking down but like if they're just kind of like across the parking lot or even like a few cars over they can't see lower than your window you know what i mean so changing bottoms super easy if you feel a little nervous still put like a towel over your lap and then just do it under there like that's super super easy so when it comes to a top though for women obviously I don't sleep with a bra on and so the first thing that I will do is put a bra on under whatever I wore to bed so I would I'm not gonna show you how to do that cuz it's whatever but just I mean you're a girl you know how to put a bra on under a shirt like you just put it on under the shirt and then there's a lot of different ways you can do this if you if it's summer and you're wearing tank tops it's so much easier because you just like pull the straps down and then kind of like still have it covering you and then put the other shirt over and then take the tank top off but if you're going from t-shirt to t-shirt Honestly, I just like I will I'll put my arms through the shirt, right? And so my arms are like down here, but the shirt like my sleeves aren't on anymore, if that makes sense. And then I will just like all girls have had to do this in gym class. If you had roommates, whatever, like you've all done that before where like your shirt is still kind of on and then you just really quickly throw this one off and you have the other shirt on your arms and you throw it on and it takes like 2 seconds. All girls have done that. And so I just kind of look around and kind of just make sure that no one's really looking and then I do that. It literally takes two seconds and since you have a bra on, you're not naked. Like I don't think it's illegal, I don't think it's illegal to have a bra on because you can have a bathing suit top on and it covers the same. And so even just from like a modesty standpoint, like I have a, you know, like wearing a bathing suit in public is okay and so wearing a bra in public, like it's just for two seconds like it's just for two seconds and so i'm not going to be dilly dallying like have my shirt off just kind of like looking for stuff like i make sure it's all right in front of me and i do it really really quickly and so again i'm not going to show you but that's just kind of what i do bottoms i don't really care about again if i feel like super super nervous or like if there are kind of people around and i can't really go somewhere else i'll put a towel over my lap or whatever but i haven't had to do that in a long time um and then the shirt again put a bra on first under your shirt and then do the whole like i mean you guys know like you like you do this and so you have both of your arms under here and then you put the new shirt like on here and then you throw this one off and you put the other one on. you know like we've all done that before and so that's just what i do and um yeah so i'm gonna get dressed and then i will come back in a little bit with more stuff to show you i don't even know what that's gonna be but i'll be back in a little bit okay so i am dressed josh and put my hair and then just put it right back up and it's, I totally forget what time it is, 1.30 something, 1.36. And yeah, so just a few times a day I will, if I'm working in my car, a few times a day I will get out of my car just to like stretch my legs, walk around, change the scenery for my brain too. Like your eyes, it's not great to stare at a screen all day. Um, and so just depending where I am, a lot of the times I'll just walk around at Target or TJ Maxx. Um, and so like where I am right now, there's nothing else to really do around where I am right this second. And so this is just easy for me. And this is what I like doing anyway. I like walking around TJ Maxx and stuff. So I'll do that for like 10 or 15 minutes and then go back to work. But I just want to show you guys that I do get out of my car. I think a lot of you guys think that I just never ever get out of my car, but I definitely do. I'm out of my car a lot. And, uh, but I'm in my car a lot too, you know, whatever. And so yeah, just gonna walk around. And then I'll probably pick up the camera a little bit later when I'm organizing my front seat. Cool. Okay, this is gonna be a long video, huh? All right, guys. All right. All right, so I just wanna tell you guys one quick little like caveat kind of thing. This is not my typical day when I'm like on the road. This is my typical work day. Um, and since I do have three jobs and I work about 
nine, 10 hours a day during the week, sometimes more. This is my typical day when I'm doing that and when I'm staying in one place. On the days that I'm driving and, and going somewhere, I will be driving during my breaks. You know what I mean? Then I'll be driving at night. Yeah, so this is the typical day for a work day when I'm staying in one place. So it's not every day. This is not like all of my travels are like this at all. And again, it's all about priorities. And right now travel is still my priority, but so is working. And so I'm just making it work for the way that works for me. And so, yeah, again, I just wanted to like kind of clarify that. And again, it's just my choice on how I want to spend my time. And this is how I'm doing it right now. And this is like, it, I love it. I am going to work a little bit and then I'm going to tackle this. So I will turn the camera back on when I'm cleaning this. Okay, I'm back. I'm gonna tackle this. I'm not really entirely sure how to angle you. So you can just, you just, you know, okay. All right, is the air too loud? Let's we'll lower it a little bit. Okay, so first of all, what's in this commercial bag? Oh, things to return. Okay, so that's so loud. I'm gonna just go back there for now. Okay. Everything is so loud, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. All I have in my car is tortilla chips, by the way. I have three bags of them. The shirt that needs to be washed. My laundry goes back here. And then when I got my new glasses, Danny, who helped me out. Danny, if you're watching this, thank you so much. He's the most patient man I've ever met in my entire life. He helped me pick these out. It took like two hours. But he also gave me a bunch of the wipes. So I'm gonna keep like some up here and put some in the trunk. Is how I'm gonna do that. So okay, you go up here. And then the rest of you guys are going in the back. So these, this is just kind of what I do when I want to put something in the back. Just, oh, that's going to be a disaster because they're all going to fly everywhere. Should I do it anyway and just see what happens? Okay. Well, they're kind of back there and then I'll just deal with that when I like leave my car. Okay, so then I have all my wipes and stuff that go in here. And then I have my Airborne that I used to take every day because it kind of tastes like candy. And so like when I would eat this, I wouldn't crave candy as much. That I just keep here next to my actual candy, which I love. These like raspberries and blackberries from Jelly Belly because I can eat these. The raspberries are better than the blackberries, but I love, I love this candy. And so those just kind of hang out together. Okay, this is just more stuff to return, I think. Oh no, this is a mixture of things. I have a sock. Why do I have a sock? When was even less when I wore socks? Oh, okay. Because I, I just did laundry and then I didn't put my socks away yet. Okay. So this goes here. And then this with my socks goes in the trunk. Are you guys ready? Oh, that one worked. I did it. Okay, cool. So then this is garbage. And then all my chips. I don't know where they're gonna go yet. This is, this is garbage. I always throw my garbage, I don't know about you guys, I don't have an actual like, garbage can in here, but I always throw my garbage, because mostly it's like tissues, hand sanitizer, wipes and stuff, I throw them on the floor of the driver's seat. And then like every day I'll put them in a bag and then throw it out. And so, okay, so that's my garbage bag. I have my water, my jacket that goes up here this is my gym bag that i keep my toiletry bag in and then some of my hair stuff i just kind of keep in there like it just lays in there and then honestly guys i'm about done see i told you it only take a few minutes or did i say that i don't know if i actually said that and then i have like my dry shampoo and stuff that just goes back i have like a backpack like my everyday backpack that has my skincare and I put my computer in here. Okay, so then let's pick you guys up and show you what's going on. This is a bag of stuff to get rid of and or sell or whatever. And then I have a blender bottle. I have another blender bottle over there and then my water bottle. And then my backpack also lives down here. I mean, obviously that doesn't live down there. It's just there for now. But this actually does live down there and my gym bag live down there. Besides that, see, look, computer, water bottle, purse. And this is my little desky thing. And then this is garbage. And this, I keep my deodorant and lotion down here. And these are just all the wires for my computer and my phone and stuff. And then that's it. Oh, P.S. I just put candy in my mouth. Sorry. When you're leaving your car and you're leaving your computer in your car, don't just leave it here. <laughs> I always cover it and or hide it and or take it with me. Just 
FYI, I'm not just like leaving my computer out in plain sight, okay? Don't do that, okay? Okay, hi, so there's been a minor change of plans. I went out to dinner with my friend. He's been my friend since I was like 18. Like we knew each other in New York and I'm back at his house. I'm gonna hang out here for the night and I wanted to show you guys what he has. All right, are you ready to see what he has? Hold on. Hey babes. You guys, he has little chickens. Do you get eggs every day? Yeah, usually we get four eggs every day, but sometimes there's three. Hi. Somebody's not pulling his weight. <laughs> Hi, guys. Can I pet it? Yeah, you pick him up. Do you know the difference between them all? No. He has four chickens. I call them chicken. You call them patty mayonnaise. Oh, oh my gosh. Go. Clyde. Go. <laughs> that's a good one. Clyde. He doesn't want him on the porch. Oh, that's good. Yeah, good, good job, Clyde. So all four of these are named Patty Mayonnaise, is what you told me. Yes. Yeah. Hi, can I pet one of you, or are you gonna run away from me? <laughs> I'll be nice. Are they gonna bite me? No, they won't bite. Just move at them quickly, and one of them will just start moving, like laying down. <laughs> they all hate me. Yeah, one of them really likes getting picked up. I'm not sure which one it is. So if you move at them quickly, one of them will just give up. And be like, okay, picking up. This is going to be a whole video on its own. I'm going to have 10 minutes of footage of me trying to pet a chicken. Clyde, can I pet you? Clyde's my friend. Hello, Clyde. Keep off the porch, Clyde. <laughs> Clyde. Clyde has very specific jobs here. Hi, Clyde. Maybe you can get Clyde. Such a handsome puppy. Clyde, get a chicken, but don't kill it. Just bring it over no, here. Don't pin it. Before anyone gets really mad, they're fr Clyde is friends with the chickens. Yeah, Clyde doesn't hurt any chickens. Like, these chickens have been around for how long? A while, right? Uh, months. Yeah, and like, Clyde does not hurt them. They're just friends before anyone gets mad. Yeah, they're free See, now look, look, Clyde is all, <laughs> he's more interested in this. Clyde, such a good boy. But I might just end the video here because we're just gonna hang out the rest of the night. Mm -hmm. This is my friend we met when we were 18 years old, right? Yeah, Clyde, <laughs> Clyde wasn't born yet. Yeah, Clyde was not born yet. Yeah. Clyde's a new addition. <laughs> I love this dog. Okay, so maybe I'll just end the video here because I was gonna end the video like of me sleeping at the truck stop, but I'm probably just gonna stay here so the end of that video doesn't make sense. Um, so I'm probably just gonna end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And um, yeah, any other like suggestions or like if I touched upon something in this video that you wanna see like a longer video of, let me know in the comments. And that's gonna be it. I love you, Jesus loves you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Yeah, you, I'm talking to you. I think that's a yes. I don't think I've ever pet a chicken before. Okay, do you wanna go? Okay, bye. I'll see you later. We're best friends now though. No take backs. Don't tell your friends. So I'm holding on to you.